Uh, anonymous question here. When I create meetings from Teams and invite to uh, invite to Office 365 group, the problem is, so send the invite to the group. The problem is the meeting notification email doesn't send to the group internal users. However, it goes normally to the group guest users. No rules set for them. Is that, like, so that's, you, you create a meeting, you've sent it mm -hmm. to a group, so it should treat it like a distribution group mm -hmm. and it's sending to the external people, the emails that are listed there as part of that group, but not to the internal people. So is that because it's the group that's already attached to Teams? So therefore it's a Teams event? Well, that was going to be one of my questions too, was are they, are just, are they doing this in a private meeting or are they doing this in a team? channel making it a channel meeting channel yes because if it's if it's in the channel after they put in the name of the office or microsoft 365 group and they pick the team in the channel there is a toggle switch there for you to send personal invites and i would think by switching that toggle switch on that it should send it to you everybody that but, is a part of that team that's associated with that because, group but, but i guess what i'm confused is that if you create a meeting in a channel in teams mm -hmm. everyone who has access internal or external will see it as, as it, it, right. it, they'll get the notified about that because anybody that has access to a channel will see everything within that channel um, right so to, to go i mean my thought was that by saying that well i'm sending it i've created it there and i'm sending it to a group that, it's going onto a group calendar by the sound of it, like it's sitting on a one a calendar rather than in the individuals. Whereas well, in a group, if it's external, I, they'd be classed I, as a I was just different. thinking like I was just thinking of like a of sending via creating a Teams meeting via Outlook. Yeah, and then in that case, sending it wanting to send to the entire group, because in that respect, then it would not go automatic it's not a channel meeting mm. therefore the mm. automatic notifications wouldn't happen but i think the same thing can happen christian in teams if you were scheduling it from the calendar and in the area where you would type in the people if you put the name of the group there mm. you can't have a private meeting where it's not attached to a team channel so i'm wondering if it's similar to what you're saying whether they're doing it in outlook calendar or the team's calendar that it's a private meeting but they're typing in the name of the Office 365 group. And what it's doing is it's just sending it to the guests and it's not sending it to all recipients. And I think when you do that, you don't have the choice to say, to turn on that toggle switch to send it to the individual recipients. So I'm wondering if that's where it's a miss, that it's only sending it to the guests somehow. So Heather, Heather, if you say that, if you what you say is correct, which I, I assume it is because you're incredibly brilliant about this stuff. Um, especially teams because I'm not, uh, but what? Yeah. But that doesn't, I mean, does that it make doesn't... logical sense? No, it doesn't. And that's why I'm kind of like, if you're designing an application that is a, Hey, I want to invite you to this meeting, but you know what? You can't do this and you can't do that. And you can't do this. If you want to invite a group of people, you can't invite the yeah. group. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to invite each individual user. Does that make any sense? So this is where, yeah, it, it, it doesn't. And that's where I'm kind of like, I think we have to test this one to see what, what we're getting um, or get more I, information. I have no doubt that yeah. this is, this is right. And Microsoft yeah. is absolutely F it's saying up. I mean, I it, just like, you know, they've done it so in the here's, past. Here's what makes me, there was a lot of changes me. with the swap over to um, invite being able to invite groups and distribution lists yes. and and it was well, fine a lot of the times through outlook you could do some of this stuff but through teams you couldn't do a lot of this stuff it was well, limited for a while thing where a lot of those was fine before like <laughs> yeah. no this has been a like frankenstein stuff for years and years and years i mean so part yeah. of it is like you've got to go back to the history of around groups creation and what happened and what was yeah, transitioned yeah. and pieces yeah. moved back over to Azure where it never should have left. And you know, yeah, like things like that, you're creating, you know, the difference between an O365 group and a distribution group and a security yeah. group. What and type of group? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. And the, I um, mean, it depends. When was the question being asked to? Because it was, is it in that transition between Teams Classic to the the new Monarch kind of version, the new Teams, mm -hmm. and with that swap over and change, where were you trying to where were you trying to do it at the time? Because it might you might find that it's resolved now. Because I'm not seeing a lot of that sort of stuff now potentially. Mm -hmm. So um, these things often they can be resolved. It might be done now, and you might be fine. Because it might have just been a glitch in the matrix, Christian. I've said that twice today. Now, I'm, I'm going to play the role of Mike Nelson here and just say that <laughs> I think you guys are making excuses for Microsoft in this scenario. Um, <laughs> as we say, I didn't agree. say it. I didn't say it. <laughs> no, but, oh, go ahead, Christian. I, I was just going to say that you, you know, um, again, if you're if your intent is do a private meeting, which would mean that like maybe there's a hundred people who have access, but you want to send it to this. 0365 group that's a subset mm -hmm. of that with external people in it. That's why you're doing a private group. Um, like, okay, I, I get it. And and I think, yeah, there's some testing that needs to be done there. And you can, as you said, switch the toggle, send it to the individual people that should resolve it. We need to test it. But the other side of this is my experience is that people are often doing the private meetings when they should just do the, the channel meetings. Mm -hmm. Agree. And like more and more, I'm preaching that, go and do it. Like use Teams the way it's meant to be used, that it's creating a meeting, it's in there. It might be for a subset, let people then go in and decide, I see I'm part of that channel. I got notification about the meeting. I have no plans on attending that. I don't need to be involved with that. Um, like you can do that. Um, and there's other ways of doing the notification there, but then you get past a lot of these headaches because it's automatically created in the right place, all the conversations, all the attachments, all of that is done in context to that meeting in that channel for everyone to see who has access to that channel. If you're doing a bunch of activities um, that you're doing private in there, and then the question for me is like, well, why not go generate, create a new private channel? And then you can put everything in there and you get around a lot of the headaches. But Another anyway, work around off my soapbox. Be in you know in outlook if you put the group into outlook you can always do the you know extend out to be able to see all of the users so mm -hmm. one double check your group and make sure that the you know you've got all of the people who are in the group number one um two you could always copy and paste that i mean you know from a from a from an email perspective or and or if you're putting it into a calendar um you know extend it out double check and make sure that you've got the right people as well and if you do the extend out with your little you know plus button you know you can extend everyone out it will then put everyone in individually rather than have yep. it classing as a group and that would then yeah. um sort of navigate that potential problem that it's the it's the group that's having the problem and then blast out basically everyone within it and which make is it great a little if you're using transparent it right correct yeah. and it's yeah. great and because I, when i've done that and for that exact reason is because then mm -hmm. i found in that 0365 group that I found other other groups, nested groups or other you know IDs in there that I mm. then go mm. like, oh, I don't want it to go to that. I just want it to this core group, these, these folks on that. So yeah. you do some yeah. like cleanup, but you, yeah. uh, you don't have that ability to break that out, to do that action. That's an in outlook. Teams. That's not that's an outlook. outlook. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's yeah. an outlook. Mm. And Christy, I think you were onto something about classic versus new because this mm. question was from March. So it likely is that they were asking about this in the mm. classic version of Teams. And, yeah. you know, in the newer one that we're looking at here now, if we are following the best practice, Christian, of having it as a channel meeting, then they do have that toggle switch. And that toggle yep. switch is mm. essentially the mm -hmm. same thing as what you're describing right in Outlook, yeah. Kirsty, where yep. you would do the you plus sign it. to expand it. Absolutely. So, and yeah. that was why we were doing that workaround before when we didn't have mm. the toggle switch to make sure it showed up on everyone's individual personal calendar that we're not relying on them to get that notification popping up in that channel that there's a meeting scheduled and there's a meeting starting yeah times have changed yeah yeah I know all of us, we've all had that experience. So, yeah. well, except, except Mike, who doesn't refuses to use Teams. <laughs> uh -huh.
Not because he doesn't need to use it. It's just out of spite. Yes. So.